It's a decision a lot of parents struggle with. When is the right time for children to have a presence on social media and just how hands-on we should be? Anna Osborne, is, Anna Osborne excuse me, is a marriage and family therapist here to help parents have this conversation with our children. Anna, thank you so much for your time this morning. Such an important topic. Recently in the news and on social media, a lot of people are talking about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's struggle with their eight, nine-year-old daughter, North, wanting to be on social media and wanting to be on TikTok. Talk. So my question is, as a mother of three, 17, 14 now, and 10-year-old, and you with, as a mother of twin 10-year-olds, should age be the deciding factor? And if not, what other factors should play in here? Yeah, I think maturity is a lot more important than chronological age. Sure. If we have uh, children that are mature enough to be able to have conversations about why they want to be on social media, the risks, the benefits, those sorts of things, then that's a child that's going to be maybe a little bit more discerning or more open about what they are experiencing on social media than just going off of a chronological age, like 10 years old means that you can now be ready to navigate the worlds of social media. Okay. Let's, let's get real with this conversation with our children. Say we don't want our children to be on social media or certain kinds of social media for security, for other reasons, for maturity, as you mentioned. That conversation keeps coming up, as I find, if a child really wants to be on social media. So how do we navigate that conversation to push that time frame off into the future? Because as it keeps coming up, it creates a lot of tension in the home. Yeah, absolutely. And if we think about parenting, it's really about starting with them from ground zero and giving them a little bit more responsibility over time. And at the time they're 18, the hope is we've given them all their responsibility to make their more grown up or adult decisions. And so social media usage is the same way. If we're giving a little bit of usage, a little bit of, of exposure versus that hard no, we're teaching them how to use it in a responsible way. I think that it often as a parent, it's easier to maybe just say no, but it's really important to be able to figure out how can I give them a little bit of leeway so that they can learn to navigate the ins and outs with that adult supervision versus trying to navigate it either on their own or in a very secretive way. Okay, what would that little bit of leeway be? Because North, I believe, is eight or nine years old, and Kim Kardashian is saying that it allows her to express her creativity, it makes her happy, but where do we cut her off? She wants to be on TikTok. A lot of parents or a lot of family therapists are suggesting hard core teenage years, maybe 13 at the minimum here. So how do we give that little bit of leeway and a little bit of that exposure so that they're staying safe, but as well as, like you said, not going into that hardcore so that they're experiencing becoming too curious where they go off the deep end later on? Yeah, so being on TikTok and putting videos on TikTok is different than sitting and watching videos on TikTok. So if we are going to give a little bit of that leeway, maybe North, an example, is sharing her creativity by putting up TikTok videos, but is she sitting and watching hours and hours of other people's TikTok videos? Mm -hmm. Those are the ins and outs that parents can navigate. Now, I realize that it sounds kind of ridiculous to say, oh, she's just putting them up there. She's not watching any as well, because she probably is, but maybe watching them with a parent so that they know what she's being exposed to. Because one of the things with TikTok is the videos automatically start playing. It's not like YouTube or some other right. you know, streaming where right. you can press play, it right. just starts playing. And so being able to watch that with an adult to know what the child's being exposed to is okay. a huge part of that supervision. Anna, I wish that we could talk about this more. Anna Osborne, our marriage and family therapist, thank you so much for being with us.